A good soundtrack is crucial for the success of any kind of animated show, especially for a musical. Since all the recent songs in Hell of a Boss have been so good, I was looking forward to seeing what the team at Spinnel had been cooking for the past few years for Hasbun, and they didn't disappoint. It honestly blew all my expectations so far and has left everyone anticipating what they'll be bringing to the table in Season 2. With the first season of Hasbun Hotel wrapped up, I wanted to go through and rank all the songs and give my thoughts on each. As always, if you do enjoy Hasbun content, be sure to subscribe to keep up to date. Anyway, moving into the rankings. The first song we hear in the show is Happy Day in Hell, which was also advertised as part of the trailer. Even though it kind of comes out of nowhere in the show, I still really enjoy this song and it sets the tone for what's to come. It also gives us a look into Charlie's goals for the hotel. With that said, I'm gonna rank it an A tier. The next one we hear not too long after is Hell is Forever. It honestly grew on me a lot. I think it just got a bit of a bad rep for the poor dialogue that came before it, but the actual song itself is great and made me enjoy Adam's carefree nature quite a lot. With that said, I'm gonna rank it an S tier. In episode 2, we're given Stayed Gone, which could honestly be my favourite song of the whole series. I love how it's sets the rivalry between both Alistair and Vox, and uses the lyrics to demonstrate both their mediums. The beaten visuals are insane, and I can't wait to see more of their relationship in Season 2. It gets an easy S from me. The next one is It Starts With Sorry. For me personally, it wasn't one of my favourites. I did really enjoy Serpentius's singing, but it just didn't hit the same as the others. I'm gonna put it in B tier. When the Overlords meet, we're introduced to Respectless. It was pretty catchy, and I really enjoyed Velvet's part, especially with the whole back and forth, but Carmilla just fell short for me again unfortunately. It's not a bad song by any means, but not one I'll really come back to. With that all said, I'm gonna put it in B tier. After this song, we also get whatever it takes. It's honestly my least favourite in this series, and it kind of comes out of nowhere and seems like an odd duo to include, since these characters don't know each other at all. The vocals and the backing don't really hit the mark like all the other ones unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to put this one in D tier. Episode 4 started off really strong with Poison. It was probably the most controversial of all the songs here, but I honestly thought the song was great, regardless of what you think about the visuals. Blake Roman did an amazing job, and I hope to see more of him in Season 2. For this one, I'll put it in A tier. Blake Roman continues his great performance with Keith David in Loser Baby, which was another one of my personal favourites and was a good wrap up for episode 4. Both of the characters being in the same kind of situation makes the duo that much better, and I think Husker Dust has to be my favourite relationship in the show. I'm gonna put this one in A tier. The first song we see between Lucifer and Alistair is amazing. The chemistry between the two is great and gave me the same kind of feeling as Stayed Gone, and was a great introduction into Lucifer's character. Including Mimsy wasn't that bad, but it was a bit of a buzzkill since I would have liked to have heard where Alistair and Lucifer were going with it. I'll put this one in S tier. The next one we hear is More Than Anything. It's another one of those songs that gives some cool context to the story, but I didn't feel particularly attached to, or found myself re-listening to. It was a nice addition to the episode, and it was nice to see more of Charlie's childhood. I'm gonna put this one in C tier. The next song we hear is Welcome to Heaven. It was another little exposition piece, so it's kind of hard to judge against the rest, since it's so short and pretty forgettable, but it was a good little jingle nevertheless. It's gonna go in C tier. To finish out the episode, we get You Didn't Know. It was another banger from this season, with a few great duos including Loot, which if you haven't noticed is my favourite character. From start to finish, the song is amazing and I hope we get to see more from Emily and Charlie in the next season, because that was easily my favourite part of the song. I'll rank this one in S tier. The song that comes after is Out For Love, which is another one with Camilla, which I actually liked a lot more than the previous one. The song is a fun jam, and kind of links into a later scene where Alistair isn't fighting for love when he's fighting Adam, so he loses, which was a cool payoff to see. I'll put this song in C tier. When I first heard Ready For This in the trailer, I was immediately anticipating how they'd use this in the show, and it didn't disappoint at all. Rosie and Alistair were great additions to the song, and Erica Henningston once again does an amazing job with the vocals, along with pretty much all the other ones we've heard so far. I'll be putting this one in A tier. Later on, we get a second iteration of More Than Anything, and I kind of feel the same about this one. It was nice to have the moment between Charlie and Vaggie, but it was unfortunate it was so short-lived and didn't have more to build off of. I'm gonna also put this one in C tier. The final song the show must go on was easily one of the best in the series, and a perfect note to end the series on. Lucifer and Alistair once again take the spotlight with both their parts, and it's an amazing finale for the show. It gets an easy S tier from me. I hope we get to hear more like this one in season 2. Overall, I loved all the songs in the show, obviously some more than others, but I'm sure some will disagree, which is obviously fine. With season 2 already in production, I'm excited to see what kind of songs we'll be getting in the next season. I'm personally hoping to hear more from the 3 Vs, and maybe even Lilith depending on how the series develops. Anyway, that's all my rankings for this video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to subscribe, and let me know your favourites down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.